Hi lovelies! As the temperature outside heats up, I want to be spending as little time in the kitchen as possible, which is why I'm really excited today to share a quick and easy but absolutely delicious weeknight dinner meal that I think you're going to love. It's this Hawaiian inspired garlic shrimp. It comes together in literally 15 or 20 minutes, but the flavors are absolutely amazing. And I have to say, it is best enjoyed dining outdoors. Now this Hawaiian style garlic shrimp is absolutely incredible all on its own. But if you wanted to take it right over the top, which of course I always do, I highly recommend serving it up with my homemade pineapple salsa, which I will tell you could not be easier to prepare. So it all starts with some pineapple. I've given it a quick dice. I'm gonna get that into my bowl. To that, I like adding a little bit of color and crunch courtesy of some red bell pepper. You could skip the bell pepper in this recipe if you wanted to, but it really does add this nice vibrant color and of course a good amount of texture. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some red onion to that. You want your red onion pretty finely diced. And then I'm also going to be adding a little bit of freshly chopped cilantro. If you're not a fan of cilantro, of course you can skip it, but I really do think the flavor goes a long way here. To bring this all together, I'm gonna add just a little bit of fresh lime juice and give it a stir. That is literally all that has to happen. Who would not want to eat this? Come on. This salsa is so fresh, vibrant, and tangy. It's perfect served with seafood or chicken or even enjoyed with just some tortilla chips. There's lots of delicious options. Taste testing is key. Oh my gosh. I could just eat that with a spoon. That's delicious. Now, just as soon as my salsa is ready, I'm gonna set it aside and get to work on preparing my shrimp for this recipe. So here I'm using some shrimp that's already been peeled and I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it dry with some paper towels. Now, this may seem like just an extra step, but trust me, it is going to help your shrimp get so nice and crisp during the cooking process. It is totally worth doing. Now, once you've just patted your shrimp dry with your paper towel, I'm gonna get to work on mixing up a really simple but really flavorful seasoning that we're gonna be tossing our shrimp in. And this is really the secret to making this shrimp ultra good. So first, I've got a couple tablespoons of flour headed into my bowl. The flour is just gonna help the shrimp get a little more crispy around the edges. Then I've got some paprika here. You could use smoked, I'm using regular. And finally, for a little bit of a kick, I have got some cayenne pepper. Now you can skip the cayenne in this recipe if you wanna leave the spice out, make it a little kid friendly, that's totally up to you, but I really think the kick adds something special. I'm gonna hit this with some salt and pepper as well, and it's as easy as that. We're gonna whisk this all together, transfer my shrimp right into my bowl, and I'm gonna use some tongs to get that shrimp well coated in that seasoning. And then I'm ready to take this to the stove. One of the things I love most about cooking shrimp in the summer is that it cooks so quickly. So you're spending very little time over a hot stove. Now here I've opted to use a non-stick skillet. You could definitely do this with cast iron if you wanted to, but my non-stick skillet was actually a little bit bigger. So that's why I opted for that because there's quite a bit of shrimp and you need to get it into a single layer. Now, one thing you're gonna notice immediately is that this recipe calls for a lot of butter. You can use four to six tablespoons. And it also calls for a tablespoon or two of oil. And mixing the oil and the butter just prevents the butter from burning. So you get all that great butter flavor, but you don't accidentally scald your butter. The oil is gonna help sort of slow that process down. And then just as soon as that butter is fully melted, it's time to get in here with the star of our show, the garlic. This is garlic shrimp after all. Now, when I say garlic, I wanna be clear, we are going for it. I've got about six cloves of minced garlic headed into my pan, but in my defense, the original recipe uh, for this dish that I found years ago actually called for a full head of garlic, and I've cut that way back. So I feel good about my six cloves. Obviously, garlic is a very personal thing. Use as much or as little as you like. But if you're like me and you enjoy garlic, six cloves really tends to hit the spot. Just as soon as that garlic hits the pan, you're gonna know it's gonna become nice and fragrant, and that means it's time to get your shrimp right into the pan. We'll just arrange it in a single layer so it cooks nice and evenly. It's basically taking a butter and garlic bath is what's happening. 
And the best part is, in no time, it's gonna cook up and become oh so incredibly delicious. Also, it smells unreal in my kitchen right now. Shrimp, garlic, and butter. These things were meant to be together. Just as soon as you start to see your shrimp sort of curling in on itself, you know it's time to give this a good flip. You're talking about maybe four minutes cook time total. And for the final step, guys, I'm just gonna finish this off with some beautiful, bright, fresh parsley. And I'm also gonna go ahead and add a nice, fresh squeeze of lemon juice, which is going to brighten up all those savory flavors. And that's it, friends. A quick toss in that parsley and lemon juice. And this deliciousness is mouthwatering and ready to be devoured. Guys, I will admit to you that once you've tried this shrimp, you may never go back to regular shrimp ever again. It is so super good. And I definitely think it is best served over some rice with that gorgeous pineapple salsa. It's sweet and tangy and savory and a bit crispy. You are not gonna regret this, I promise you that. I hope you love this dish as much as I do and that you will give it a try for yourselves. It is guaranteed to become your new favorite summer dinner. If you do give it a try, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because you know how much I love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe is featured on our brand new website, thedomesticgeek.com. We've totally reworked the site and I am so super proud of it. I hope you love it as much as I do. Also, keep in mind that I've got four brand new ebooks on the site. I've got a dessert ebook, a breakfast ebook, a one pot ebook, and a 30 minute meals ebook that is loaded with recipes just like this one. So I hope you'll check it out. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.